So in the past we have seen a few weapons found within the game files which have never seen the light of day in the official game. Some weapons are actually amazing and would make great additions to BR3. Today we look at another weapon found which at the moment doesn't drop anywhere in game. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play it on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within the video description. So we have seen a few weapons in the past, some amazing items actually which have never been added into the game or into any loot pool. These weapons have been found within the coding of the game files and players on PC can easily extract said files and spawn these weapons into the game, weapons and other items as well, which means we can actually check them out. In the past we have seen some crazy unique legendary weapons such as the ice pick, the bite size which is my favourite, the P2P networker, the portals and shites and many many others. These and many other weapons we are yet to see added into the game and these like I said are all a part of the game files, it's just they are not in any of the loot pools. We actually saw this very same thing happen with a Mongol launcher, it was found within the game files I think literally not long after release or about a month after release, but it was only recently added into the game. So hey, these weapons found within the game files, we may see them within the future, we just do not know. Today's weapon is another launcher and it's called the Bombination, which you guys can see on screen now. This COV Heavy at a level 60 actually looks kinda average, I'm not gonna lie. Not quite offering the damage of some of the legendary launchers in the game, I mean it's can't really say it's not to be expected, some uh, epics in this game are actually pretty badass and better than some of the legendaries, but this one looks quite basic. But it is I will state, far from the worst. Now looking at this item and the way it works, it does remind me a lot of the Zooka and the way in which that works. And this might be the reason as to why this may have not actually been added into the loot pools in the game. Or maybe it's a weapon we'll see in the near future like I said. The thing about that is the fact there are so many amazing unique legendaries within the game files that have been there for absolute months which haven't been added into the game yet. And this isn't to say they will ever be added, I mean to me though it just doesn't look promising. The amount that are there, probably 10 and some of them I mean are incredible and you're actually unique to themselves, some of these are unlike anything in the game, like the pistol you can see on the screen now. So it is a true shame that we probably won't ever see these things. Now this Bombination is a weapon I did indeed put through its paces and although this version I am using has been scaled to match what it would be within a Mayhem 10, upon my testing it is kind of weak. Now this was used within my Lazy Zane build which can make most weapons look semi decent, but not this one. This was literally just blowing air at enemies. And although I know it isn't the point, it adds to another point in which I don't actually feel we're missing out on anything with this weapon not being in the game. I mean, if we ever see a PA gearbox we'll likely buff the weapon before dropping it in. This I can't say is the case for other weapons in the game files though, in which I feel are amazing both in design and uniqueness and also pack a great punch. But yeah guys, this is just another weapon in a long line of them, in which I actually don't feel for now, at least we will ever see a future where you can get your hands on these weapons on console, so stay tuned for updates there people. Now credit to Simaj Nuab for hooking me up with this weapon for this video, it wouldn't be possible without him, so shout out to him. But on that note guys, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.